Last time we looked at user-defined functions, both in the CLI and in and in Python. Uh, now we're going to look at a variant of function of, of user-defined functions, hooks, which are very useful little things. Again, you can do both of them in the CLI or in Python, and we'll have a look at each. So, start my program in a normal way. So I'm going to define a user-defined function just like before, but I'm going to magically, if I start it with the with, the, with hook dash, then whatever comes after the dash is the command that I'm going to hook. So let's go echo here comes a next and end. And now every time I do a next, oh, that happens before the command runs. I can do a, uh, a post hook to find hook post next, echo done the next and you can see actually slightly confusingly that the, the, both the hook and the post hook happen before gdb tells me where i am in the program but they are happening before and after the command happens um a there's a sort of pseudo command that i can hook called stop and uh so that's very useful so every time we every time the inferior stops we go back to the command line to gdb prompt i, I can run something so let's do a backtrace um, and and so next so if i um step into that then i see i get a a, a backtrace each time uh so that's how we do it with the user defined commands you can do very you know quick and dirty you can you can do that in you know a matter of seconds e pretty easy to remember syntax as well which is nice again if i'm doing something a bit more sort of meaningful and i want to check it into my source control i'd probably do it in python um, and let's see how we do that. I'm going to start that again so we can see. So um, the simplest one, kind of the equivalent of stop in a way, is I'm going to I can hook the prompt, and that's quite nice and simple. Again, sim simpler syntax. I don't have. I just need a function um, and print the, before the prompt like that, and then I go GDB events before prompt hook and so now if i source stop source stop um oh, i don't like hook um it's not hook it is connect so uh, let's try that again okay so now we can see every time the prompt i'm going to print does this before the prompt, which is quite nice. Um, and again, it's after, now it's after what when GDB has told me what my, my um, program is. So it's kind of a bit more, what well, at least what I'd expect. Um, now, there are a whole bunch of other events, though, that we can connect to. Um, so um, the kind of equivalent of the one we were just doing in the command line was stop. Um, but unlike, so, so before prompt is unique, as far as I know. Um, others, you have, they, they expect this event argument. Um, which you can then sort of look up, you know, why why have I stopped? So um, if I go um, print um, stopped event equals and uh, let's look event. Let's look at what's in it like that. Um, good. And so I'm going to go GDB events um, stop connect stop. Now, every time I run this, it's going to uh, reconnect. You can connect functions multiple times. So I'm going to, uh, I don't want to do those again. So source stop pi. Um, so now next, okay, so let's have a look what we've got here. So I've got this event and it's this inferior thread and it's got a breakpoint associated with it and so i can see the breakpoint that we've hit we've hit this breakpoint number two um and if i um, let's disable breakpoints and continue to the end um so now we get a different kind of stop because well we hit a we hit an abort and here i can see i stopped due to a stop signal abort um other events i mean there are a whole bunch um that we can stop when you can stop on you can have an exit event just when the program exits there's a cont event so that you hook before the program starts you can have a memory change or register change events or i mean breakpoint I mean, even breakpoints created um 
and, and oh, but there's a new thread event. So you can look in the info page in the usual way. So let's just remind you how to do that. Uh, so info GDB. So if I search for um, uh, uh, the event type, so I'm, I'm just going to pick one at random. Um, why don't we just, because uh, if I go for if I search for connect, it's not going to be great. So let's look for, this is always the trouble with these info pages, you have to know what to search for. But events in Python, I think we'll do what I want. Yeah, that's the chapter. So this is what we just went over, how you connect. You can disconnect as well. Um, so you can have multiple functions connected to uh, the same event. Um, and here are all the different events. So continue, exited, stop. Um, so yeah, new file, inferior core, um, memory change. So pretty pretty, pretty extensive, pretty powerful. Um, and you can imagine how you might do a lot of stuff with that. So um, that's hooks. Um, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.